So there are around 4,000 documented knots in the world, although mathematicians and scientists say that there's theoretically an infinite number possible. But most of those thousands of knots that exist were invented by sailors. Bet you've seen them all, haven't you, Beanie? Just about. And so for me, what I feel I have to offer the world is to take these functional objects from history and bring the aesthetics to them. In the making of it, I show you how beautiful it is. And you notice the journey of the line. I'm Wendy Chen, and I'm an artist. And I tie knots for a living. <laughs> I've lived in San Francisco for 30 years, and I'm an artist, but I actually am on my third life. I owned and worked at an independent record store here in the Mission in San Francisco for 14 years, and then I spent almost a decade at Apple working at iTunes. About five years ago, I quit my corporate job because I wanted to focus on my own creativity, and here I am doing it full time. So the first thing I did when I quit my corporate job was I decided to go on an explorative journey because I knew that I wanted to make things with my hands, but I had no idea what the form was going to be. So I took classes and one of the classes I took was a refresher macrame class because my mom had taught me in the 70s when I was a kid. And within five minutes of the class, I was like, oh, I remember. I love this. So I love the process so much and how it felt while I was doing it that I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. I got more interested in making one-off beautiful wall hangings and room-sized installations and knots that were each unique. So I decided to move from products to making art. And that was a big leap because I was still kind of thinking, no one can make a living as an artist. I didn't feel like I had earned it. I think of that I have a pretty audacious attitude when it comes to life, and part of that comes from feeling like an outsider my whole life, you know? I'm Chinese, brought up in the U.S., and in the military, too, so I've always felt like a little bit of an outsider. What makes you the outsider? The outsider. The one nobody asks. The cool thing, I think, about being an outsider is that you are not hemmed in by other people's expectations of you, so you get to define yourself. My book is called The Year of Knots. It's published by Abrams, and it's the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> the year 2016, where I taught myself one new knot every day of the calendar year, starting in January. After that was complete, I got a lot of press around it. People around the world had noticed it, and I had built up a really robust Instagram following. So this is the original year of knots. This is the project that I undertook to self-educate myself and to become fluent in the language of knots. At the end of the year, when I finished it and looked at it and realized it was a single work of art, that was when I really knew, oh, I'm an artist. I wrote the book for other women like me, and men, people like me who are itching to do something creative with their lives but aren't quite sure what that might look like. It's gotten to the point now where Clients, interior designers, private collectors, architects will come to me and say, hey, we're in the planning stages for this space and we'd love to bring an element of what you do into it. Let's plan it together. If I'm making work that I'm happy with and that it gives me a sense of awe, then I've succeeded. Not art is fascinating and Wendy is definitely making her mark in the Bay Area and beyond. Now, we're about to meet another woman behind a...